Welcome to this short video blog, which is part of a series of blogs on company transactions for SMEs. Today, I'm looking at share buybacks, how you can buy out a shareholder. When a director and shareholder wants to leave, it's preferable for the shares to be sold to the company or to the remaining shareholders who will continue to run the business. The shareholders will usually ask their accountants to advise on the value of the shares. Once a price has been agreed, the question is whether the company will buy back the shares or the remaining shareholders will buy them. Selling shares to the remaining shareholders is usually simpler than a company share buyback, but there may be tax benefits in structuring the deal as a company buyback. With a share sale, the selling shareholder will simply sell to the purchasing shareholder for the agreed price. A share buyback, however, is where the company purchases the shares at an agreed price. And in order to do this, company law rules need to be followed. Otherwise, the directors could be in breach of their statutory duties and HMRC may deny favourable tax concessions for the shareholder. The funding for the transaction must come from the company, which should have sufficient distributable reserves in order to fund the share buyback. Tax issues are important. If a shareholder sells his shares in the company, then he may be charged income tax. The profit on the sale is treated like a dividend. However, in some circumstances, the shareholder may be charged capital gains tax. The requirements for HMRC to treat the share buyback as capital need to be satisfied and you can obtain um, clearance in other words, prior advance clearance, prior approval uh, to the buyback from HMRC. Uh, there are also various company law requirements to be dealt with, with a buyback of shares, including a contract for the share buyback, board minutes, a director's statement, a resolution of the shareholders, and a stock transfer form transferring the shares. So if you need help with share buybacks, do not hesitate to get in touch with me or any member of our commercial team.